Hello, and welcome to another Science Man digital lesson. Hey, I'm here on the edge of the Pacific Ocean, near Euclid on Vancouver Island, to talk about the intertidal zone. At high tide, water rises up to the point where it can fill pools in the rocky outcroppings around the edge of the ocean. Uh, when the tide settles back down, you're left with pools just like this one. These pools harbor their own type of organisms. A fascinating array of different types of species that are suited particularly for living in these pools. Let's take a close look at what we might find in the tidal pools in the intertidal zone. The intertidal zone has very unique organisms for several reasons. For one, this environment can be particularly harsh. With exposure to highly variable conditions, intertidal zone plants and animals need special adaptations to cope. For example, some intertidal organisms, depending on how high up on the shore they live, can be exposed to the air for long periods of time at low tide. These organisms, organisms must be especially resistant to drying out or have special behaviors that help them cope, such as retreating into crevices or shells. Another challenge for intertidal organisms that live in small pools is changes in salinity. As the water in the pools evaporates, the intertidal pools can become more salty. And at the same time, rain and runoff can make the ocean water in the pools much less salty. Many intertidal organisms have uh, special abilities, such as the ability to excrete or retain salt, depending on the conditions. Temperature is also a huge challenge to intertidal creatures. Small tide pools can reach very high temperatures when exposed to sun, and also below freezing temperatures when the weather is inclement. Many intertidal organisms have the ability to ha handle high temperature stresses. On top of all these challenges, intertidal organisms must be able to survive powerful wave action when the ocean pounds into their wave pools. You have seen many different intertidal organisms in this video. Do your own research to find out how each of these particular creatures survives and thrives in the intertidal zone. Thanks for viewing this Science Man digital lesson.